Just as you learned to do arithmetic with decimal numbers, turns out that we can do arithmetic with binary numbers. And in fact, it turns out that in many ways doing arithmetic with binary numbers is far easier than doing arithmetic with decimal numbers. In order to illustrate this, we'll make a little file here. And let's go ahead and let's pick some numbers. We're going to pick some numbers that happen to be, we're going to say these are 8-bit numbers. Turns out that the values in computers these days are typically stored in a number of bits that is a multiple of 8. Uh, 8 bits is referred to as a byte. We said earlier that the int is a 32-bit number, so it has 4 bytes inside of it. So there we go, there's 8 bits. And I want to add on to those 8 bits another set of 8 bits. Mm, how about that? Okay. Well, it turns out that when you're adding in binary, the operation is very much like adding in decimal. We have this first column, 1 plus 0. Well, that's 1, of course. The next column, 0 plus 1. That's also 1. 1 plus 1. Now, in decimal, that would be 2. We can't use a 2 in binary. Remember, in, in binary, the way we write 2 is 1, 0. 0 in the 1's place, 2 in the 2's place. So how do we write that here? Well, a 0 goes there, and then we have to carry a 1. One of the things about binary is you do a lot of carrying, a lot more than you do in decimal because as soon as the value gets up to 2, you carry. So I have a 1 plus a 0 plus a 1, which is once again 2. So we put a 0 and we carry a 1. A 1 plus a 1 plus a 0, which is again 2, and we carry a 1. 1, 1, 0 is again 2, carry the 1. 1, 0, 1 is again 2, carry the 1, 1, 0, 0 is 1. Okay. Um, be interesting to know what decimal values we had here, and we could check our math. Well, since it's good practice to do these conversions, this top number is 1 plus, there's no 2, there's a 4, there's no 8, there is a 16 and a 32. In fact, that's our happy little 53 from before. The second number, there's no 1, there's a 2, there's a 4, there's an 8, there's no 16, there's no 32, but there's a 64. I put two pluses in there. And 53 plus 78 is 131. Dot two binary string one followed by five zeros followed by two ones which is exactly what we got so this all hangs together so binary addition is very very simple uh, what about multiplication well for that we need a few more spaces so let's say we were going to take these same numbers again except instead of adding them, I'm going to multiply them. And we're going to add some extra spaces in here. Well, what if we were doing just long multiplication? Well, long multiplication, you might recall, you take the first digit and you multiply it by the number on top, and then you take the next digit and you multiply it, but for the second digit you have to shift everything over by one. And then you take the next digit and you shift everything over by another one. We're going to do the same thing here, except of course here multiplication is much simpler. In decimal, at some point you had to memorize a multiplication table. That multiplication table was 10 by 10 squares in size. The binary multiplication table is simple. It's 2 by 2, because it's either a 0 or a 1. And obviously 0 times anything is 0, so in this first case we have 0 times this top thing. Well there's no point in even writing that down, because it's 0. So we have 1 times the top thing. Well, 1 times anything is that same thing. So 1 
0, 1, 0, 1, 1. You'll note that I left kind of a blank here. We can fill that in with a 0. Because this was in the 2's place, we had to move things over, just like if it had been in the 10's place, we would have had to, to move the result up. And then we have the next one which happens to be, well, it's the same value again, but now it's moved up two. And the next one, which is the same value again, but moved up three. Then we have two zeros, and then another one. So we're moving up three spots here. Now, if we were doing this in decimal, we would then go, just go ahead and add these together. I'll start off doing that to show you why my recommendation is that you never add more than two binary numbers together. So this starts off fairly nice. All zeros is zero. Hey, there we have a one. There we have another one. Here we have a two. So it's a zero and we're gonna carry a one. I guess I could put a blank line in here and denote my carries in there. Okay. One, one. So once again, it's a two and we carry a one. 1, 1, 1. That would be 3. So a 1 goes down here, and we carry a 1. 1, 1, 1, 0, 1. This is where things get interesting. That's 4. Okay. Well, how do we write 4 in binary? It's 1, 0, 0. And this is where if you do, if you add more than two numbers in binary, you can get the situation, something you pretty much never do in decimal, which is you have to carry ahead not one digit, but two digits. So this puts a zero here, but then it puts a one up there. It would have put a zero here. I guess we can technically fill it in, but it's a carry, so if, if it's not there, we generally don't write it. Okay, well this was now a one and a one. Oh, but that's two, so we had a zero, and we have, somehow this is another carry. I'll go ahead and write in a two, even because it's just in the carry spot. So now we have a two, a one, a one. Oh my gosh, it's a four again. So a zero goes here. And up here, we have another carry of a one. This column is actually a zero. This column has a one and a one. So it's a zero with carrying one forward, which is a one and a one, which is a zero, carrying one forward, and we have a one there. Hmm, I wonder if that's right. You can probably see, once again, why my recommendation is never add more than two. I would typically do this problem by coming in here, adding together those two numbers, and then taking that and adding this to it, and then taking that result and adding this to it. Doing it two at a time. Because it's too easy to make mistakes when you are adding multiple numbers in binary because the carries can get a little out of hand. So our numbers again were 53 and 78 but we'll multiply them, and then we'll take that 4134, convert it to a binary string, and we get one, followed by quite a few zeros, one, zero, zero, one, one, zero. Indeed, that's what we have here. So, you now know how to do addition and multiplication on binary numbers. As you can see, it's rather simple, and this is what's going on inside of the computer whenever you do your arithmetic.